What is going on guys? My name is Nikki. So today I wanted to show you an iPad desk setup that I know you're gonna love and doesn't break the bank. You'll love it and will literally be mind blown because of the heart of the actual setup. More onto that later. Let's start off with the monitor. It's an Asus 23 inch and it's under $100. I'll say that again for the ones in the back, $100. Now the quality is not the best, but definitely not the worst for costing less than a hundred bucks. The Ukmunk analog has become an essential to any setup that I make. It's a physical to-do list that is driven by minimalism. It's a, it's a to-do list that you don't get distracted with. Yes, it's the same as writing it as a piece of paper, but this thing is actually beautifully designed. And why don't I write my to-do list on the Mac or on my iPhone or on my watch? Well, I do that always sometimes, but I always love to have what I have to do throughout the day there on the paper because sometimes when I go on my iPhone and look up what I have to do throughout the day, I'll get a notification and then I'll go on Instagram and then you know how it is. Then you'll go to TikTok and then you'll go to YouTube and then you'll reply to an email. Then somebody will call you. This is literally simply a to-do list that you simply look, look away and scratch off. Now, how do I write things off? Well, I've got this Grove made pencil holder. Um, it's just simply beautifully designed. It's made out of real wood. I think it looks stunning and really matches the whole aesthetic and vibe of the actual setup. Feels like these tooth guys actually, you know, were made by the same company, but they're actually not. And yeah, I love how they look very similar. I picked up a wired light bulb to match the aesthetic of the setup. In terms of audio, I actually have the HomePod mini. The HomePod mini is an excellent option if you own an iPad. I connect my iPad with a USB-C hub since the monitor that I recommended to you is a hundred bucks. So it doesn't have like a USB-C to USB-C port. I simply run an HDMI to USB-C hub and then I simply connect that to my iPad. You're going to be mind blown for what I'm about to show you. So buckle up. Seatbelts ready because we're about to take off. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the app called Shift Screen. Now, Shift Screen will blow your mind. You guys know that whenever you connect an iPad to a monitor, you'll get these huge black bars on the left and on the right of your screen until Shift Screen. And it's absolutely awesome. With Shift Screen, you can open up up to six windows on your monitor on each desktop, and you can switch between multiple desktops. The way that Shift Screen works might be a little bit different to what you're thinking, the way that Shift Screen actually works. So what you're thinking is probably, okay, I've got my iPad and the black bars on the monitor, I put Shift Screen on and the black bars will be out. Well, yes, but no. The black bars will be out, which is why I love Shift Screen so much, but it's more powerful than that. With Shift Screen, you can't open all the apps on your iPad, even though Shift Screen is planning on adding more apps soon. So far, we've got an internet browser, Google Docs, the Reminders app, Notion, Google Teams, Microsoft Teams, a PDF editor, Microsoft Word, Slack, Zoom, Calculator, Google Sheets, Google Meet. There's a bunch of apps already. And once again, they will add more apps. Soon. And the cool thing is that you can move and resize windows and you can actually use the mouse or trackpad on your iPad Pro. Or if you have an iPad mini, you can simply pick up a Logitech Pebble and a Logitech keyboard, which were great. And you simply have like a full on desktop experience, even with an iPad mini. But if you have the iPad Pro, it's a way cooler experience because you know, you've simply got the keyboard, the trackpad, and you're ready to go. Now this is extremely useful for a lot of people. Let's say students, for example. Students will be able to have their research paper on the right and on the left, they can have their Microsoft Word document or maybe for business people, you can have your Excel document on the right and you can have your calculator on the left and then you can have a bunch more tabs open up at the same time. Like it's really powerful and the limit is literally all yours because there's so much that shift screen can actually do. There's also keyboard shortcuts, which you can customize in the settings of the app. It all runs by the launch pad, which will allow you to open up new windows, close new windows, hide the windows, top bars, change the monitor brightness. Yes, you can actually change the monitor brightness directly from your iPad. There's even picture on picture on YouTube. So you can have a bunch of tabs open up at the same time and you could even run picture in picture on the monitor. It's absolutely crazy. Only on YouTube though, Shift Screen told me that they're planning on adding more picture in picture on a bunch of more websites and streaming services and stuff. You know what the craziest part of all of this is that, you know, Shift Screen seems like a super complex app, which it is. But guess how many people are on the team? Guess how many people are on the Shift Screen team? Only one person. Links in the description if you guys wanna pick up anything in this desk setup from this to the Ukmonk analog, which is super cool, from my lamp, from the monitor, and of course, Shift Screen itself. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new for more content like this one. Be happy because life is good, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.